Welcome to a tutorial on how to use Deltex Time and Expense System. To visit the website, locate the URL address bar at the top of your web browser, highlighted in red here. Type in the above address and hit enter. To log in, first you will need to enter your login ID. To do this, click in the login ID box and enter 00, followed by your current four-digit ID number. Next, you will need to enter your password. If this is your first time logging in, your password will be your birth date in this order. Year, 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 month, month, day, day. For example, if you were born on March 14, 1986, your password would be 19860314. Now that we have our password entered, the last thing we will need to enter is the domain. In this case, the domain is MDG. If you want to change your password after you log in, Simply check the Change Password After Login box at the bottom right of the screen, then click Login. If you opted to change your password in the Login screen, this box will appear. Your new password must follow these guidelines. It must include at least one number, and it must be mixed case. After you choose a valid password, Simply type it into the new password box. Then verify it in the verify password box and click OK. After you log in, you will be brought to the home screen. At the top right, you will see four icons. The home icon brings you back to this screen wherever you are on the site. The help icon brings up this window. From here, using the sidebar, you can view functions, troubleshoot problems, and learn the system. The information icon brings up information about the program. And the logout icon logs you out of your profile. Towards the center of this page, you will find your My Desktop Profile. This includes My Tasks, which informs you about tasks you need to complete, My Timesheet, which shows you the status of recent timesheets and brings you to the timesheet page, My Expense Reports, which shows you expense reports that you have submitted and the status of those reports, My Expense Authorizations, which shows you expense authorizations you have submitted for approval, My Alerts, which shows you the items that require your attention, and My Menu, which allows you to personalize your profile. If you want to edit your My Desktop layout, simply click the Edit My Desktop link at the top of the page. This brings up the Edit box, which allows you to change the number of shown items and edit the layout of your desktop using these buttons. Looking at your current timesheets, you will see a box on the right that indicates the status of your timesheet. Open means the timesheet is still active. Missing means the timesheet was not saved. Signed means the timesheet was signed and is ready for approval. Approved means the timesheet was approved by a supervisor. Rejected means the timesheet was rejected by a supervisor. To access your timesheet page, you can either click on the timesheet button on the far left or select a timesheet under the My Timesheet icon. You are now brought to the timesheet page. At the top of the page, we see the timesheet menu. This includes Open, which brings up this box where you can search for any day of the year and bring up your timesheet for that day. You can also use these side arrows to navigate from month to month. Next, on the menu, you'll find Save. 
This allows you to save your timesheet at any time. Search allows administrators to search for employees for the purpose of viewing and approving or rejecting their timesheet. Print allows you to print your timesheet. Audit lets the employee or supervisor see revisions made to the timesheet. Leave brings up this box, which allows you to see how much leave you have acquired and in what leave type. Reverse timesheet lets you negate errors made in the timesheet. Offline timesheet allows you to take your timesheet offline and then load it back onto the system. Notes allows you to add notes to your timesheet. To use your timesheet, first you'll want to make sure that all categories are shown. Do this by toggling the middle marker, revealing pay type and PLC. You will then click on the binoculars under project, revealing this box. You can filter by project or description and can also search in this text field. You can sort by description or code. You see the description is here and the code is here. Choose the project that you want to work in. When you find the project that you want to work with, check the box and notice that the description is here, the code is here, and the project number is here. Then click Add to Timesheet. This adds your project to the timesheet. With Project, the Description, the Pay Type, and the PLC. To edit the pay type, click in the pay type box and select the binoculars. That brings up this box where you can filter by ID or name or in the text field. You see the ID in this column and the name in this column. For this, we will stick with regular. Click OK. To change the PLC, click in the PLC box, click the binoculars. Again, you can filter by ID or name. Scroll down to see all the options. When you find the option you want, check the box and click OK. To fill in your hours, click on the day and type in the amount of hours to the tenth of the day selected. You will also see that in the far right hand column, it is told your hours for that week. If you see on the far left, there are check boxes that you can click that bring up this menu. In this menu, you have copy line, which copies the line that you have above. Delete line which deletes the selected line. Reverse line, which reverses the line, negating any hours you put in. And reset line, which resets the line selected. You can also add a line to your favorites. This allows you to look up through the Favorites menu your favorited items. You can see this item that we favorited there. Click it, add it to the timesheet, and there it is. We can also delete a Favorites by clicking the item in the Favorites menu and clicking Delete from Favorites. To scroll through your timesheets, you can use these arrows at the upper right of your screen to navigate through current, future, 
and past timesheets. To save your timesheet, let's first add a project in the Project Lookup menu. Add your hours and click the Save button in the upper left hand menu. That will bring up this box. You then click Continue to save your timesheet. To sign your timesheet, scroll down to the bottom of your timesheet page. You will see the signature box in the bottom left hand corner. Click the signature icon. That will then bring up this box. Simply type your password and click OK.